What's going on, guys? It's Jesse Stokes here, back with another episode of the Abide Podcast, the podcast designed to help you abide in Christ and teach others to abide in Christ. So today we're going to be going over day seven of the devotional that I wrote called the Abide 40-Day Devotional. And today, sorry, today's topic is Not Today, Satan. So let's pray and then we'll hop right into it. Jesus, I just pray right now that Lord, when we feel condemnation, Lord, from the enemy, Lord, we'd recognize what the gospel says about us, who we are in Christ, and that we would not be falling into the trap of Satan of shame, but instead we'd remember who we are in Christ and have victory over Satan. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Day 7, not today, Satan. Romans 8, verse 1. There is therefore now no confidence... Sorry... (laughs) No condemnation. There's now therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Isaiah fifty nine nineteen says this. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. Satan, who is the accuser loser, is on a mission to discourage children of God with condemnation. His chief weapon is lies, for he is called the father of lies. John eight forty four. Satan seeks seeks to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus came to give life and life abundantly. John 10.10 Rest in this promise from God that once you are in Christ, God omits his wrath against you, replacing it with love for you. The wrath that God once had towards you when you were dead in your trespasses and sins, Ephesians 2.1, has been canceled completely by the atoning work of Jesus Christ on your behalf. When pondering the sufferings of Christ, some people wrongly say that the physical pain of crucifixion was the chief suffering of the cross. Although this is excruciating pain, the suffering of Christ was more than physical pain, for he bore the sins of many, Isaiah fifty three twelve. In bearing the sin of the world, he had to drink the cup of God's wrath, which sinful humanity deserved. <clears throat> He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. 1 Peter 2, 24. We are saved through faith by grace in Christ. Are you in Christ? Paul uses the phrase in Christ 153 times to identify those who have been adopted into God's family. The only way to be in Christ is to abandon all other hope for salvation and trust yourself fully in Christ's sacrifice and resurrection. God's children know they are saved because they see the fruit of righteousness in their lives and the Spirit himself bears witness to them that they are children of God. If you know you are saved, rest in the truth that there is no condemnation for you. When you do sin and experience condemnation, take up the shield of faith Confess it to the Lord, for if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, nine. So reflect on this. What condemnation are you experiencing today, and how can you combat this with the truth? Amen. Thanks.